Okay, I'm just going to go over some MS processing a little bit. This is a trick that I like to use quite a bit in mixing because it really helps me to gain width, to gain 3D in my mixes, and I can really play with uh, imaging uh, this way. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, whenever I work on this, I usually I use a lot of um, the Ozone Suite because they can process an MS. Like the EQ here, you can... Um, it can work in stereo, which means it will affect the left and the right channel um, the same. Or you can split it up into two channels, one being your mid channel and the other one being your side channel. So just to go over MS real quick for uh, who, the, um, for whoever wouldn't know exactly how it, it works. Um, so the mid channel here, if I solo this, <clears throat> this will play all the information that is identical in your left and right channel. So that means your, your audio waves that are playing back in your left in your left speaker that will be identical to the ones in your right create a mono signal so you have your information in the center now every little variations that are not identical playing back in your two sides will be your side channel so anything that's not the same will sound you know will be different so it will sound wider in your system and everything that's completely identical will line up perfectly will match up and create a mono image so <clears throat> now we can split these up. We can isolate your center and your sides, and then we can work them separately. And that's something I do a lot when I, when I mix. So, and I, I, I found this uh, free plugin here that uh, isolates. There's not a lot of plugins that you can solo your mid and solo your side or adjust the gain. So this one does it. It's um, MSED by Voxango, I believe. Voxango is it. I have it here. <clears throat> V-O-X-E-N-G-O. I'll leave a link in uh, the description for anyone that wants to play around with this. I, I really recommend uh, getting some uh, working with these tools. Yeah. So, mono guitar. So, let's just go, uh, let's just go in this plugin. Oops, no, wrong one. Let's just go in my Ozone real quick. It's a, a little bit clearer. So, if I solo my mid-channel, since this is already mono, Technically, we shouldn't hear a difference, so let's see. Nothing changes, so it's a perfectly mono signal. Now, if I solo my sides, if it's a mono signal, technically, I shouldn't get any information in the sides. Exactly, so we have a fully mono uh, signal. Um, now, let's just use the MSEED here. So instead of soloing, this will mute. So if I want to listen to my sides or my mono, I'll mute the sides or vice versa. <clears throat> so what I'll do, you know, what, what I like to do is to image things. So for example, let's just grab this. Uh, I, I got this for free vocal doubler for people that don't uh, have the EQ, uh, um, uh, the EQ, the ozone stuff. Um, this was offered for free for a while. I don't know if it's still free there, but it's probably pretty cheap. It's just a basic imager. So let's listen to what it does. This is like being pretty aggressive. Hold up. Let's just see what we can do. So we did a little bit of imaging, so let's mute our mid-channel so we can listen to what's in our sides, for example. So, you know, that's a bunch of side information that we didn't have before. If, you, if we mute the sides... <laughs> signal sounds like um, again let's just listen to the sides now if I turn off this um, let's bring this up here so if I turn off this um, vocal imager while soloing the sides we shouldn't hear anything so nothing in the sides now we got it so what's cool about this is I like to work the mid channel and the side channel separately so for example <clears throat> what I might do is duplicate this track. So I'll do it differently because I'll um, I'll do it straight on plugins that process left and right separately. So like the Ozone Suite, I could do this on uh, on the plugs. But sometimes I'll even uh, duplicate the track 
keep one. So the first track will be the center channel, and the second track will be the side channel. So they'll be. So I'll have my mid and side. Um, I can work on my mid channel and side separately. So let's say side mute. First one is just the mid. And I could even turn off this uh, imager here so it doesn't fuck. Me. Now on my side channel, I'll just get. I'm just gonna. Yeah, mute my mid. So I'll do the opposite. So I'll have one that's image. And the other one, that's mid channel. So if we play around with them, let's see. So I'm actually really not liking the way this uh, imager is sounding on this, um, this guitar. So let me just grab another one. Just get the standard ozone imager. For some reason, it's like super glitchy the the pitch thing. So yeah. So I'm on this channel. My sides are soloed, so this is only the information coming out of the sides. So you can see what this imager is doing. As soon as I'm pushing the imaging, it's spreading some energy. Some energy. It's creating some delays and some phase stuff. So you hear it wide. So let's just compare our mid or side together. Okay. So if I mute the side. Okay. So I get a much wider sound. Now what's fun about this now is I can start to process and and uh saturate and and fuck around with my side channels my side channel so uh, let's say uh let's just get some distortion um standard decapitator so if i drive this My center channel is not changing, just the side. So I'm just this. So it's like I'm keeping my. Um, basically, I, I have something presented in the middle. It's like a, a little sculpture, let's say. So let's say I have a, a little statue, and I'm deciding how it's going to be, like what the background to the statue is. So, for example, I'm just creating a display for for a statue. Now let's say I'm. I, I put the statue right in the middle of the mix and I'm deciding to either put like a white background or do I want the background to have some sort of a wraparound to, to um, you know, to, um, to make it more cozy to, so it, and do I want it to be dense, glass transparent? Do I want it to be dark, a dark color? Do I want it to be a bright color, high frequencies, low frequencies? Do I want it to be tight? Do I want the, um, the, the encasing to come around close to the statue or do I want it to be very wide and far away um, delay how much delay do I put so these are all things to think about when working in MS you know I'm looking at what's the presentation and how do I surround it you know I think in an art gallery that's pretty important uh, in well I think a lot uh, a lot of times we're trying to not influence the the piece itself by the context but we do you know there is a context like um, a painting often will be hung on a white wall I guess to not influence the painting if it was perhaps on on a black wall or a brown wall it might play around with the colors it changes the way we perceive the uh, the painting well that's just a tool basically you know we're we're trying to affect how someone perceives the guitar tone by not necessarily affecting the guitar tone itself too much now we want we want to fix up the sculpture itself we want to, to carve our our fixture and make it nice as, as possible so we're going to work on the guitar tone but then again i also want to work on its aura you know how i you know if maybe i want to put a light behind it or uh, i want to adjust the lighting around it to, to make it stand out a lot more maybe i want to separate it from the wall so it is forward and there's and it's not integrated to to the wall too much and that's all that's going to affect how i perceive the the statue for example so statue bin being our mono electric guitar here so now for example okay 
you know, I got some mids and some highs. It's almost like as if I'm painting the surrounding, um, uh, I guess, um, enclosure, like brighter, like a brighter color or maybe invasive color. Like, So the whole enclosure comes down a little bit and the statue kind of goes up above it. So it's almost like something's wrapping around it, but you know, from the waist as opposed to all the way above the head. So it changes the way we see the signal, you know. Now let's just bring this back up a bit. Okay. So let's delay it and see what happens. So I'm going to set up uh, 10 milliseconds. I'm going to click on the stereo. I'll bring the, the sides back a bit. So maybe 30 milliseconds. So one, two, three. Now there's some slap that's kind of bugging me. What I can do to, uh, to solve this is get this uh, transient tool, transient master tool. There's, um, I got some here. There's one on Cubase. They, a lot of companies make these now and you can probably find some for free. Um, envelope, see here it's called envelope shaper. Basically it's to manage your attack. For your attack to be sharp or dull, you can kind of bring it down without fucking around with the compressor. I think it's like compressor based. It's gonna avoid the slap, a slap from the delay. So I'm at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oops. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 milliseconds back. So I can kind of create a delay just with uh, by isolating the sides. And so basically that's going to mark what the space behind the guitar is very subtly and quickly. Um, as opposed to being way too present and too much around it and taking up too much of that space. And, you know, by playing around with the drive on this, you can... Uh... You can just make it grow and make it richer and more dense. You know, drive is playing around with, with uh, the texture. So is it, uh, is it matte? Is it uh, glossy? Is it, you know, no drive would be maybe a bit glossier, but as soon as you start driving it, well, the, the texture gets a little bit rougher. You know, it gets a little bit more uh, indented, I guess, and like um, jagged. So, and different drives, drives will do this in different areas of uh, your frequency spectrum. Um, right now, this is, kind of hitting like the maybe 500 uh, pretty high, you know, maybe like 5k. It's kind of roughing up the 200 area. Three. So now another thing I can do to make, to play around with um, this, these sides is maybe go check, since I'm driving, I'm distorting Let's see uh, if there's any information that ha that that appears in the center channel. Sometimes by processing, yeah, barely anything. So if I want to really clean this up, I can just go like kill everything, and then I can try to space this even more with more imaging. You know, so I get another. Let's just see like this S1 imager from Waves. Cool plug. back to its original place uh, um i can do i think i'm at uh, 60 was it yeah 60. No so we 
we took off from this here, so this was the in, the initial uh, signal. And then we're adding all of this. You know? So and and then I could process this like a bunch of different ways. I could I could side chain and put a compressor <clears throat> on my side. Let's do this real quick. Uh, do it with the multi band side chain. I'm just gonna get my uh, vocal setting. Because so what's this gonna well, what this is gonna do and <clears throat> help us get is um, let's open this is basically let the mono the original signal just step ahead a little bit without creating a delay. So when he when he's plucking the guitar, it's just gonna push back the um, some of the information in the, in that side uh, channel, but it's gonna you know it's just gonna put yeah it's gonna um, you know, we can see it as like a shadow that like, you know, the wall is like getting farther back. And so we can see space between the, um, the, the, your, your statue and the wall basically. So it's just like bringing that back a bit without using a delay, just using dynamics. So for example, if I, if I shoot this, um, in here, side chains, EG, EG for electric guitar. And then I got this here. So let's say I bring, I see I got these set up um, in almost mono. So just put this stereo. So it's ducking left and, um, the whole left and right. Okay, let me just chill out some uh, plugins in this session. I'm gonna be aggressive on this and close it. Okay. So it's a subtle move, um, but right away it just kind of makes it less muddy, you know. It makes it a bit less invasive. And then you can be, you can get super creative with this. So I'll do this. I'll play around with this with uh, reverbs. If you don't have any imager or um, any anything that like spatializes like that, what you can do is use a very short reverb. You can send this through, get a room reverb, put it like really short because that images your sound. No, no uh, sustain. Print the verb and then m play around with the verb like that. You could do the MS thing, and then you could just mute the center, all these the center info from that verb, and um, you could almost use pre-delay from the verb, and that's it, depending on which verb you're using. So, um, so then, or um, the first like pre-reflections, as opposed to um, the decay, you know, and that's just stereo information. And then you can clean out your center to leave the space for your for your your statue for your dry your your mono signal, and then keep the sides for all for all that extra information to to present it, you know, to build this sort of aura around it. Um, yeah, so that's a quick idea on uh, how to work with some MS with this uh, free MS ED uh, Voxengo plugin, which I found the other day. Thanks to uh, some guys on some um, engineer groups, on audio engineer groups. They're pretty helpful whenever you're looking for something to, if you have questions. Anyways, yeah, if you like this, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, where I will be putting up a lot more videos, uh, just content like this, if ever you're interested. So uh, yeah, cheers.